<laughs> okay, but first, the news. Pure hypocrisy. Governor Gretchen Whitmer loves to travel. Never mind if it's in the middle of a COVID surge. She did it for Biden's inauguration on a private jet. She did it to see her sick father in Florida on a private jet. And now there is the Golden State Gate. Oh, jeez. It turns out Madam Governor took a campaign fundraising swing to California last November as Michigan was leading the country in COVID cases and deaths. You re may remember because we told you, right? Mm -hmm. Remember? Yeah, when I saw the story, I thought it was old news. It was old news because this is the no bullshit news hour again. Our sources are impeccable. <laughs> and when we get it wrong, we fix it. Amen. We don't delete it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Can you, can you do sign language, too? No, no, <laughs> Can you? you re yeah, I can't watch this. No, the yes, so. That's, that means cool. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got that one. Okay. And this one? You may remember, that was when President Biden was in Detroit hyping the opening of General Motors' new electric vehicle plant in Hamtramck with uh, GM CEO Mary Barra, remember that one? Oh yeah. You know, we helped pay for that plant, by the way. Where was Gretch, everyone was asking. Where was Gretch? Mm -hmm. When the, the leader of the free world is right in your backyard. Very odd. Now, according to recently filed campaign finance statements, Whitmer made a three-day, five-stop trip from Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, to San Francisco, to the Silicon Valley, pulling in, guess, quantos? Uh, dos mil veintitrés, quinientos cincuenta. No, <laughs> doscientos dos mil. Doscientos mil, perdón. Veintitrés. Sí. Two hundred and twenty-three thousand five hundred and fifty dollars in cash. Mm. Man, on top of that, all the trouble she's got going on, right? The number of COVID victims in Michigan's nursing homes remains a mystery. The official count's incredibly low. You heard about that? Oh, it's horrible. While her health director delivers tortured polemics about who's actually uh, constituting a nursing home resident. Ridiculous. You'd expect Whitmer to have serious problems come this November, right? right. Except, mm -hmm. except though, the Republican field is choked with a gaggle of earnest no names, corporate crazies, and political Lilliputians. Mm -hmm. Not the least of which. Next piece, give me the beep, beep, beep. Next, next piece here. Karen, your take on Governor Whitmer jumping out of town, raising money, gallivanting around while we're, we're red hot and smoking to death with COVID. Well, I mean, Charlie, it's nothing new. I mean, she's been pretty hands off, uh, pretty disconnected from the realities that we've been wrestling with ever as residents of the state. So her activities have been a reflection of her priorities since day one. So I don't think anybody should be surprised. Is that hypocrisy? I'm looking at uh, Boris Johnson throwing parties at 10 Downing Street. Oh, yeah. OK, I'm looking at Trudeau running away and hiding, saying, you know, I've got COVID, mm -hmm. even though... From the truckers, yeah. Yeah, he's got the booster and the double shots and everything, and he, he can't understand what the truckers are saying. Or Gavin Newsom Eating partying it. at Staples Center with his mask off. Yeah. Or so fire, wherever he was. Or a long time ago. And he front. held his breath. <laughs> it, I mean, yeah. look, it's to the point, and again, I told you, I voted for Whitmer before, but I'm a citizen. It stinks. The message stinks. Am I wrong? No, it's not a good look. And you're Terrible. a libtard. What? Hey. You're a libtard, and it's okay to say that. Yeah. I'm an independent. I'm not going to back them when they do stupid stuff, though. Fuck them. 